Hey everyone, Positron checking out Fallen Angel. This is an action adventure game, uh, top down, from V Publishing and uh, I believe it's Matryoshka Games. Coming out on Steam, should be out uh, at the time this video is coming out. And they were kind enough to provide me a code, check it out. So, uh, I've played a little bit of it, not a ton, but uh, I like to run through the opening area, show it off a bit. It's got some cool stuff in play. It looks like it's got co-op too, which I have not tinkered around with at all. Uh, and I don't mean this as, as any sort of, uh, you know, reduction of their skill and design, but I, I would call this a Hyper Light Drifter-like, that makes sense. Uh, it's very similar in style and play. Obviously a lot of different mechanics, though. So this is us. I believe we are the Fallen Angel. Uh, I dig the, the tree movement here. But yeah, we've got a, a lot of dashing power. Our health in the upper left, you can see there. We've got some basic combos. It's a little more, uh, a little more character action game in the uh, in the combat. Combos very fluid. You do those same combos in the air, or similar combos in the air. Some fantastic scenery as well. Something about this, uh, I don't even know what I would call it, almost like, maybe chunky pixel? Uh, something about this style I always really like. Yeah, it says waypoints, we can find waypoints, and can fast travel between them, always nice. Now this is actually something that had a demo out, and I believe the demo is still available if you want to try it out. Uh, it had a demo during one of the Steam game festivals. I didn't get a chance to play it then, but I had heard good things about it, so I want to look into it a little further. You can also see they have uh, health bars on these enemies as well. So here's our first pickup here. So far I've seen two main consumables. We have these health cores. See the number we have. Now I don't know what the arrows are on the below the health core, unless that's just an indicator of the first three. You can carry more than three. And uh, we can use those as just a health potion. Restores one bar of our health. Now, I don't know if we ever get more than three bars of health. My guess would be yes, though. Now, as far as I know, I don't believe I can cancel out of animations. I'm trying to do that right now. Uh, it's... There's, there's no recovery time, I guess I'll say. It doesn't seem like a true cancel, but I don't seem to have a recovery time either. Oh, I have noticed you have a, a slight pause when you land, though. Uh, and I think that's a balance to jumping, because jumping is really powerful. Uh, that injured merit item, uh, that's just a gun. And we'll, we'll see use of that pretty soon here. Yeah, so we can view our inventory. Equipables, consumables, weapons. Looks like there's quite a few different weapons. Uh, we have a skill tree, too. Skill tree, uh, from what I've seen so far, yeah, you automatically load your weapon as long as you have ammo shards, but ammo shards can also be saved up as currency. And we can just hit RT and fire. I think you can also use LT if you want. Same with the dash, so you can use, you know, R1 or L1. Or RB or LB if you're using an Xbox controller, I suppose. I'm using a PS4 controller. You can also go to Arby's if you want a uh, sandwich. Not, not sponsored. Uh, when you're firing the gun too, you can kind of aim in any direction. I don't think there's any auto aim. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit of uh, magnetization. All right, so we get some of these seraphim enemies. Seem to be more the more the primary enemies of the game. I do think it's interesting that the dash is is almost unlimited. It's not quite, but you can you can dash a phenomenal amount before uh, before you run out. 
All right, we have a simple puzzle to solve here. We can grab that ledge. Once we hit all these switches. All right, let's head up into this beam of light. We have a lot of air time too, I've noticed. Up to the Citadel Roop and we're immediately ambushed here. But we've got some consumable stuff here. Uh, again, I don't know what the limit is on how many you can carry, but it's certainly a lot. Let's see if I can pick all this stuff up. Also looks like uh, resources don't necessarily disappear once they're on the ground. Ooh, this guy is really getting a piece of me there. All right, let's heal up. There we go. Takes a little bit of time to heal. Not a ton though. Did get caught in that explosion. They have a pretty long wind up time before they fire that off. Not long enough for me to catch it apparently. It's not a fast travel point here. The traitor returns. We've got Abdiel here. Uh, let's see. My choice is freedom. An unwise heretic like you dwelled. That's servitude. All right, as you insist. All right, so this is kind of our first boss here. I believe we can dash through those. We can also jump over them. Got hit pretty hard there. Uh, we can use some of this stuff to block shots. There we go. I knocked him down. Uh, he doesn't stay down for long though. But using the gun gives me a pretty good opportunity to... Get some easy shots in. Uh, once again, I feel like jumping is is incredibly powerful. Being able to jump over this stuff rather than dash through them seems really nice. Yeah, I think we got him here. Nice. Oh, nope, didn't quite. Oh boy. There we go. Now we do. You bring only despair. Says you. And he gives us a whole bunch of stuff, and this magic elevator appears. All right, sure. All right, new area. So fallen wings. So these pillars give us the new abilities. So this one, uh, we can hold, jump, and we can glide a bit. We have this forever, and again, this is another thing that has no, to my knowledge, has no limitation on it. Uh, if you fall, uh, you just respawn also. It does do a little bit of damage, kind of Legend of Zelda style. It's very quiet here right now. I feel like there's probably supposed to be music and I may have may have bugged it. Let's hit these switches. Continue on our way. There we go. Ah yes, back home. I guess, maybe. Not quite what I thought St. Peter would look like. Hi, quite the ominous fella, aren't you? I feel like I've seen you before. Somewhere. Oh well, just sign here and you can be on your way. Feel free to relax in the lobby when it suits you. Sure, you know, it's a nice stay at the Holy Hotel. Do have another ability here. Demon form. Enter demon form by maxing out your pride meter. 
Game prime my dealing damage and taking damage. I should be able to show that off. I seem to see there's some boarded up doors. I don't know if we ever have the opportunity to go in there. My guess would be yes. So there's our pride meter. That big old spinning pentagram. Um, we can use that to our advantage. See, find a pile of enemies here to use it on. Yeah, so we can go demon form. Uh, as far as I know, everything about this is more powerful. Uh, your dash becomes a charge. Even your gun gets powered up. Uh, you can still take damage though, but you have more range, you deal more damage. You can still heal in demon form. That's good to know. Actually, I actually wasn't sure if you could. Another uh, power-up. So we can pick an upgrade here. Heavy attack, uppercut, or aerial smash. Uh, heavy attack is a hold down attack master strike. Aerial smash. Jump hit put while the air to smash downwards. Or an uppercut. Let's try the uppercut. Um, oh, nice. Yeah, it's kind of a launcher. I like that. Now, I don't know if we have the opportunity to get the other abilities. My my hunch is yes. Well, that's interesting. Does this change my combo? I seem to not have my, my ground combo now, which is odd. Hmm, curious. Oh, there we go. I think I was just pressing the wrong input there. Some of these enemies are pretty rough. Rib of the Redeemer. What is that? Grants infinite ammo for five seconds. Huh. That's kind of neat. Couple of new enemy types here. Yeah, see that's nice when you get that, that aerial combo going, you just juggle them there. That's a lot of free damage. I don't know what the deal with these guys are. Oh, they can looks like they can parry. Wow, they do a lot of damage. There we go. I don't know how much things cost in terms of, uh, you know, using ammo shards as currency. So what happens when we're... Can we switch to the uppercut in demon form? We can. inside this temple here. It seems like uh, dashing in, in demon form once you have this ability also adds an uppercut to it as well. Oh, I am curious. Oh, I thought there might be something hidden over here. Had to check. The Radiant Pools. Okay. Have a uh, new looks like a bishop style enemy there. Can we step in that? I actually don't. I actually don't know. I mean, we can we can certainly walk in it. I just feel like it's gonna do damage to me. Some of these enemies seem a little hardier at this point. I'm actually running out of uh, health potions pretty fast. If you die, you just go back to the previous checkpoint of sorts. I'm 
Now it looks like I can I can stand in this safely. I think that enemy might have healed though. Yeah, this bishop seems to just be constantly healing. Like some sort of heal aura on it, maybe. Damn, it is really, really a hardy enemy. Uh, one thing I don't think there is, I don't think there's a map. Which for me personally is, uh, would make this pretty challenging. Oh, this is a very pretty area. I think that, and I think this is one of the game's huge strong points is that the visuals are just fantastic. Combats don't slap shooter though, and this guy is enormous. I would like to get demon form going here, I think. Yeah, here we go. Uh, I don't think we get any more stagger in demon form. Damn, yeah, we can still be killed. Let's see where this puts me. Oh, I guess so these count as the, uh, as checkpoints. I see. Enemies are very dangerous. Certainly uh, a matter of, you know, you want to learn patterns and such. I think this uh, this checkpoint is near the beginning of that area. Though I'm not totally sure. Uh, we'll just see what's over this way. The very big statue. I'm assuming we can jump over here. Yeah. Oh, we should be able to get up to this ledge as well. In fact, I think I could even jump up here. No, maybe not. The ledges that you can grab, I think, are always flat. But the edges are always perfectly parallel or perpendicular. Nope. See that enemy taking a swing, and I'm not having it. I'd love, I'd love to see a new weapon. Um, just out of curiosity. Let's see where this elevator takes us. I am quite injured as well. Oh, this seems very ominous. All right. Sure, we have another boss here. We can give this a shot. Uh, initially, he doesn't seem too bad. Well, stand corrected. Actually, having trouble hitting him there. There we go. Sure, we do have to wait for the gun to reload a bit. This is where I really need to make use of those that dash potential. I'd love to see him come up here a bit. If he wants to stay down there, that's okay too, I suppose. But it would really be helpful if he came up. I'm actually running out of ammo. You gonna you gonna come up here at all, pal? No? Did I get you stuck slightly off the platform? That is also a possibility. Might be able to kill him this way. 
I'm gonna have to wait for my dash to recharge a little bit, I think. I don't think the, the blade can hit me on the way back. So I'm not 100% sure on that. I mean, I can only get hit one more time. Or I actually, I can't get hit at all. If I get hit at all, I'm just dead. But I'm kind of just determined at this point. That was a little close. Damn it. Well, at least we found a second boss. But I think I'll, I'll wrap it up there and let you discover what happens at the end of that boss yourself. But, uh, yeah, this is Fallen Angel. Uh, it seems like they have a couple of bugs to iron out. But, uh, overall, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I actually don't know how much it is. But, uh, it should be out today sometime around the time this video comes out. So, thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you're interested in the game, you can click the link below. Subscribe for more stuff like this. I'll see you soon.